the man sitting in grand finals is coming over here beckering at us, bickering yeah, at us. Yeah, bickering. Lower your tone, my, my G, please. Shut up before he smokes your meat. I hope he does. My mouth is open. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> game number one of Lucha's Finals. Razo versus Andre of gonna Smash be a good Factor. One. This is oh, a really good one. Razo probably smelling blood right now, kind of like bloodlust. I don't know if anybody's more pissed off than Andre, though. He lost to Nito in, in No, Smash you're right. Both yeah. of them are kind of heated. Now, I'm not sure what kind of practice Andre has had against Peaches. Peaches, just being, Razo. being such a rare uh, character. They're so technical heavy. Yeah. yeah. Such a rare character. Like, what Peaches are in Mexico? Um, not the ones I know. Yeah, he has to have some previous experience. I know uh, Razo and uh, Andre have played, like, during current quarantine a few times. Ooh, and Razo, that... That ever so slight uh, blow backwards. Thank you so much. It's such a tricky recovery right there. Yeah. Also, but still getting punished with a downbeat. Oh. Oh, and on three, having huevos of steel. Jesus. Uh oh. Oh! oh. oh. Nah, he went for it. He went for it, and that would have been so crazy. Not the double dip chip. Nah, because That's obviously too much on that chip, you, you have to go for things like that in a set like this because Razo has the same uh, capacity to get combos that take stocks. Good GI right there from Andre, avoiding the forward air from Razo. Now, Razo at 110%, he's taken a lot, but we know that Razo really has no ut utility to his stocks after getting hit with the up smash by Andre. Yeah. He shut me up. Yeah, and here, here we go. Once again, Razo stuck in ledge. He's back here without a shield. Ooh, up air this hold up. Oh, what? Look at that. That GI up. Oh, oh, that didn't kill. Nah, I didn't deserve to. RN Jesus isn't on the side of the big booty woman. That's a whole lot of vegetable on the screen. Oh, God. Now, Look, remember that, when we looked up the special moves and the tournament was just called vegetable? vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> Look, and when you pull a bomb, it's healthy for the set. I love it. All right, good. Good uh, Raptor boost. Putting Razo in a disadvantage. Stuck at this ledge. Needs to find a healthy way to get back. However, a nice F-tilt. Says Razo, come back. Maybe going to try to call out a roll from ledge. Oh, Andre is so good at baiting uh, offensive options. Yeah, and he's been throwing out dash attacks and up smashes to kind of uh, punish that general angle that he likes to activate in with her club. Yes, for sure. He's like trying to read like these speech bombers, these dash attack attempts, and that up smash was really smart, kind of putting some fear into Razo, kind of like an anti-air zone. Agreed, agreed. Like, now nah, you're not going up here, because if you get, get anywhere close, you're going to get hit with the up smash. Exactly. Know to expect my violence and know that it is powerful. And he has so many things that he can mix up with, the down B, the side B, the raptor boost, Everything. as well as the up B. He got magnetic hands with that up B. That man's red button on his controller is abused, and for good reason. Game number two. Oh, Ooh. hold up. He, he tried to keep that turn up. Oh, I love that Raptor boost. Just to get rid of the dot eyes because uh, it does a little bit more damage than a regular turn up. Let's get it out of the hands of Razo, who is very good at confirming off of his items. Just, just that one dot eye, now we're already at 92%. Andre beating a lot of damage. Yeah, that's a, that's a very bad trade. Now, However, one thing that I see Razo kind of having trouble with is keeping up with the pace that Andre is playing and Andre is playing at such a fast pace. Razo wants to slow it down, go for these mid-range options and these turn up options. Like sometimes he'd rather just not interact whatsoever because you know Andre is going to push a button and kind of invade the zone. Yeah, agreed, agreed. It's not going to be easy. However, Razo is doing the utmost with the turn up pool. 121 on him. Missing the tech and getting punished for it. A nice forward throw. Oh, and what a, what a tech. Oh, nice. It's time for the circulator. The circulator. Huh? My bad, OG. My bad, OG. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great.
great stuff here from uh, from Razo. Uh, got good damage on on three. But, oh! Yeah, he's gonna make it he's back. He's still alive, but they mental damage. Uh, yeah. And <laughs> you know what's crazy about that? He was floating directly in your face, but Parasol is so broken, you cannot punish it that close. Words have been said. Everybody in the chat, 1-1. One, one. Who do you think is going to have it? Razo or Andrik? One for Razo, two for Andrik. Let's see who's going to take it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, he goes for the Falcon dive to catch the up up. I like that. Yo, we're seeing a little bit of adaptation. Are we going to see the dive? No, he gets the air dodge instead, but he can't find a punish. Both the magnetic hands on that. Dude, that move snaps so far away. It's actually crazy. Razo being a little flustered right now and the disadvantage practically getting zero to death. Yeah, only 21% in the grand scheme of things, it's not gonna do a whole lot. That's all. Are you back? That's all. Are you back? Or? Are you back Bro, Andrik is commanding this game. Hey, yo, did, did anybody buy you a shot yet? Word. Um, do you need a shot? Yes, word. Never mind. Looking rough right now for Razo Andre on the hunt for the three stop. That counter did not hit there. It didn't, but the hitbox is so large. It scoops. It got aimbot before there was a video in the game. For sure. Right, it's gonna be Razo trying to regain center stage here. He has a lot of ground to make up, and Andre is putting the pressure on. There's gonna be no a way he's winning this game. It's you gonna never be. know, it's Razo, he gets some crazy <laughs> RNG right now. He gets the grab, he gets the down throw into the Nair. No, he doesn't get the platform chase. Good DI from Andrik. It's gonna be a turnip into the Nair. Throws it up, but now it's on Andrik's hand. Up the edge, it's gonna be fucking dive, forcing Razo off of the stage. Goes for the downer, no, he's empty hopping. He gets the gentleman in the end. Not gonna take it quite yet, though. Ooh, ooh, the left jump off the upbeat. That was clean. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if this goes to a game five. You're gonna like open up his controller and shit? He just needs to replace his That's funny. We're about to we're gonna we're about to do surgery on his controller. 
Just as Andrik is doing surgery on Razo's neutral, dissecting got the speech. Got the precision in his movement. What a dash check. Goes for the upper spine, tries to jab check him, but eventually gets a nail. Razo's gonna be on the ledge, but not a whole lot of percent, like doesn't matter. I love Dal going to the back here. It looks so smooth. Yeah, that was so clean. He's, he's really playing phenomenally right now. Just the momentum is completely on their side. Razo has to dispel that momentum if he wants to really get kicked into a game five. Oh, here come the Nair train on the trip across the stage. Oh! And a forwarder smacks him with the crown. High recovery from Andre. He's going to sneak right by Razo. Yeah, and that spot dodge coming out almost instantly. Razo basically putting this game into his own hands. Has to find this stop right now, though, because Andre. It's threatening. Alright, doesn't get the side being it's gonna be a death track to punish Andre Kagan's first blood gear of game number four. He is on winner's earth. Hey yo, all the Seth buttons point. all the buttons that Razo was pressing right now was crazy. Oh Razo panicking a little bit with that upbeat. He is able to sneak his way back to ledge with that. Another option to catch his jump. Yeah, you're not gonna spam uh -oh. in his face, bro. He's this is go for the toes. This is the opening, but Andre has the this face. Yeah, honestly, the utilization of the turnips hasn't been really on Lazo's side. He's been getting good turnips, but usually getting like one hit or like not any hits at all. Just kind of recycling through them. I'll be honest, you like steal the sticks away from them. Go to the other side of the stage. They know what to do with it better than you. Don't bother trying to throw it back. Like, it's not worth it. Dude. Yeah, it's really not worth it. Just kind of get rid of it and then let them pull out a weaker uh, turn up. Yeah, and Razo finally able to find the up air and take the stock away. He is still at big deficit, but we know one thing about Razo. It's that he's got that damage online. He's going to even it up so quickly. Doesn't find the back air. It's going to be some jabs from Andre. That's the same setup that he missed. Oh, does Andre have a jump here? It doesn't look like it matters. He is able to find his way back to ledge. Just down tilt gonna catch Razo dropping from ledge. Ooh, he made it back just barely. Razo! Down to up smash? What the hell? That was clean. Now Razo trying to bring this to a game five. You can see the fire in their eyes. This is the last stock situation, y'all. Andre evens out the stock. Zero up easier. This could be all Andre needs to win oh, the he, set. He doesn't get the down at 30. It doesn't end there though. Three up is gonna drop the boost back to stage. Razo at 74 on the ledge here. Dare into the knee. No, he doesn't find it. And he took so much damage trying to get out of disadvantage. Already 120%. Andre trying to find the stock he does with the back air. Yeah, the strong hair that kills so early. Andre able to find it. Clutch out the three to one win in the end. He is gonna find the win. He find himself in grand finals of Game Labs.